Is it okay to make money online if you're doing these expat channels and stuff? It's funny, this come up this week. Um, I may get his name wrong, but Rike's been getting some hassle about it. The fact is, what Rike makes online is not huge, and there's nothing wrong with him making money anyway. What people forget is the amount of time you put into this. You spend money on your web hosting, you spend money on your software, you spend money on electricity. All these videos and stuff cost money. It doesn't matter that, you know, I do this as a hobby, but it it really doesn't matter. It's not for somebody to go, oh, um, he's running this as a business. I don't think he is. Um, you don't go get him going, okay, yeah, uh, yeah, you know what, it's, I've got, I've hurt my hand, maybe we should use this, you know, that, that's, that's more of, of a sales pitch. But the, the reality is, there's nothing wrong with making money. AdSense is something people have been doing for a long time and the expats have an issue with this look wherever you go be it a forum be it a youtube channel etc people are making money but it's also costing money which is a bit nobody really wants to talk about i'm trying to get my channels well channels with an s uh to a point that will actually finance helping me stay in spain long term but also allow me to travel around Spain because the more traveling I do the more videos I can make and the better quality they'll get all my camera equipment um, is funded by my stuff online um, this is actually for a microphone and not for something else <laughs> but I mean even that that's like about $45 um, the point being is don't give somebody a hard time because they're making money online but that mental attitude is something that is exactly what's wrong with the expat community because I'll tell you now that has held the expats back more than anything else the reason being is that people are more concerned about stopping somebody making an income than helping them make an income now some of this is because they didn't they want to make an income themselves but it shouldn't be a reaction of trying to sabotage somebody else's income that's not how life works although unfortunately negative media goes a lot further than positive media these days which is a really sad state of affairs and society is just uh, not running the way i want to um, yeah I'll say that because I was trying not to swear <laughs> but the the point here is you're an expat community work together stop trying to shaft each other stop trying to run other people down etc it doesn't help any of you and I know from history myself people attack each other like no tomorrow but when something serious happens everybody runs for the hills and leaves you standing there um, dealing with somebody's uh, case relating to being accused of murder dealing with a couple of people that have been put in jail for stuff they didn't do dealing with smaller stuff where people have been ripped off by other expats etc nobody comes running and say leave it with me I'll sort it out they would go, they did it, it's their fault, it's their own fault, blah blah blah. They won't go and say, let's help them sort them out. Very few people do. As you heard in my last video, um, I said it's 4%. Uh, and that come from somebody who's been in nearly 20 years. And I agree with him. The, the amount of positive expats is probably about 4%. And it's sad it really is sad because I think before people criticize other people get get a mirror and have a good long hard look and say okay I'm so positive you know I'm so great because if you can't 
don't criticize other people for doing something to try and make things better. Now, I don't know much about Rike. Um, I don't watch much videos. I mean, if you actually watch me as a person, you see how busy I am. I'm not sat around um, doing nothing. My eyes, you're probably watching my bags go like this at the moment because although I'm doing these videos, I'm also trying to read on how to produce some other stuff at the moment. I'm learning about five different uh, pieces of software. I've been over to a place today to look at some properties to help sell in Spain. I am flat out. So my videos actually cost me money to be honest in my time. My time is very precious. But a lot of the guys that will do this negative stuff um, have all the day, all, all day long. And you'll hear them go, oh well, I don't have to worry about it, I've got a pension. Well, that's maybe why you should think about some people that don't have a pension. Because reality is, are you bitter that the fact that somebody's done it 30 years earlier than you? What does it matter, this other thing? Are you, are you losing money? If you're watching a YouTube video and an advert comes up, is it ruining your ability to see that video? Because you didn't pay for the video. And you wouldn't pay for it. Has it ruined your viewing uh, pleasure? The answer is no. So does it matter that somebody actually makes a bit of money on it? Answer is really no. If somebody manipulates it and lies, that's very different. If somebody says this restaurant is absolutely fantastic, it's the best, and you go there and it's absolute pits, and you're aware they lied about it because they openly go, oh well I got it $500 for doing it, then I'm in your court. I'll quite happily support you. But if you turn around and go, well, he's making money off these videos. Um, yes, he is. But at the same time, he's not doing anything wrong. Um, as such, leave it at that. It doesn't affect you. That's the important bit. It doesn't affect you. So don't worry about it. There's there's far more things to get get involved in there than a positive and this I'm trying not to go this tittle tattle thing but I'm just saying look it doesn't matter you know it doesn't affect you it's not cost you money it's not taking money out of your bank account or something it doesn't matter if you want to monetize your own websites you want to monetize your own um, YouTube channel get in touch I'll quite happily help you do it for nothing there zero no cost because that's that's half my battle is I do so much for free that um, I do myself out of the money but please don't attack each other there's enough negativity out there there's enough problems in the world don't become part of it and I know there's a bit of flat going on between different people now I would say look just leave each other alone just go okay fair enough it doesn't matter because the other side of this being is some of the guys involved are quite old. I question whether they actually understand the technology, which is why I'll say, look, if you want some help doing it with your own websites and stuff, I'll help you for free. Because you may assume that there's something strange going on, but in today's world, monetizing the internet is going on all day. When you Google search, Google doesn't do it for free. Google is one of the biggest businesses on the planet that monetize on everything so somebody making a little bit of money on YouTube are they really that bad if you're really that concerned grab your computer and just throw it out the window because every time you use a search you're paying Google alright thanks for watching and like I said don't take it as a neg negative thing just take it as it doesn't matter you know move on find something else to do, find something positive to do. Thanks for watching.